Hello my friends! Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new to my channel, hey, welcome! I hope you consider subscribing and if you are back as always, welcome back! Today my friends, I am so very excited to get to come on and share with you all that the event that many of you have been checking in on to see is it happening again this year. You guys! Summer with the Masters is returning. So if you are new to diamond painting or just new to my channel um, and you're not sure what I'm talking about when I say Summer with the Masters, this was an event that I had the chance to co-host with one of my very dear friends, one of my very, very, very favorite content creators out there, Jessica over at Tiny Worlds of Wonder. Jessica and I share lots of passions and interests when it comes to diamond painting, including a desire to do right by artists when it comes to licensing. That can be kind of tricky when it comes to diamond painting and sometimes it can feel a little bit limiting as far as what kinds of artwork we can work on and she and I really wanted to dig into this whole genre of artwork that we feel like tends to not get a whole lot of love. At least that was the case last year. I am thrilled to say that there have been a number of different shops that have opened, that have started offering artwork in this category, which we refer to as the old masters. And there are other just already existing shops that are offering an even wider variety of this, uh, this kind of artwork. And we love that. What's really wonderful about the old masters though is for our purposes, just, just to give you the context, uh, we're defining old master's pieces as any pieces that are from before the year 1927. Now, if you were a part of last year's Summer with the Masters, the year you would hear us always referring to as 1926, but just with how it works with when things enter the public domain, it moves up a year each year. <laughs> There's a copyright day. Uh, so for this summer's event, um, we'll be looking for you guys to participate with artwork that was created before the year 1927. Artwork from before then, while there are uh, some exceptions here and there, um, artwork otherwise from before the year 1927 is considered a part of the public domain and therefore you can feel good about and like you're making an ethical decision um, by purchasing a custom of this kind of artwork. And with that in mind, the possibilities are nearly endless. We had so much fun last summer digging into a huge variety of different artists that are out there. We showcased some of our favorites. We both worked on a number of different pieces and I'll be sure to link to last year's playlist. I'd love for you to go and check it out. I'll also insert some pictures here if you're curious. I worked on, um, my, this was actually my very first custom that I've ever ordered, but this was Miranda the Tempest by John William Waterhouse, one of my very favorite artists. And I ordered this as a custom from Uniquely Yours Down Under. And then I also worked on and completed a custom from Crafties, and this one was of the piece titled Our Lady of Cow Parsley. It was really fun to look for artwork that I found both spoke to me and was interesting and just fascinating to see come together as a diamond painting and my goodness you guys blew us away with the incredible pieces that you worked on now one of the things that we wanted to do for this summer summer with the masters is we're not requiring any new starts for many of you Getting an old master's kit, especially as a custom, means that you're ordering a really large canvas. It's kind of just the nature of the artwork. Sometimes it's very incredibly detailed, very intricate. And uh, to get the level of detail that you want in diamond painting form, sometimes you're ordering really, really massive canvases. So if you're carrying over projects from last year, or if you just have a project you've been working on for a little while, you, we want you to be able to participate in this year's Summer with the Masters with that project as well. Now to give you some, some more details about this summer's event, we're modifying it slightly from last year's format. Uh, we wanna make it a, an accessible and fun and 
um, educational, hopefully, event for the community. Uh, last year it looked one way. This year we're, we're just making some changes. <laughs> we learn as we go, right? So the event will be happening in June and July. It'll kick off on June 1st and it'll run through July 31st. Uh, like I mentioned, we're asking that you are participating with a diamond painting. Um, this event, we're just opening to diamond painting this year uh, with artwork that's dating from before 1927. Now it can be either a custom that you've ordered or it can be a pre-packaged kit like some of the ones that I have here. In just a little bit, I'm gonna touch on some different companies out there that are offering pre-packaged diamond painting kits. But if you want to order a custom, and if you're like me and you feel really overwhelmed by the pros prospect of ordering a custom, uh, I wanna point you to two places. So first, I believe that Jessica in her announcement video is gonna touch on a little bit of just sort of recapping how to order a custom. And along with that, we actually, we went into a lot of detail on the whole process of ordering a custom, lots of tips and tricks in last year's Summer with the Masters video series. That information is very much still relevant and helpful. And so I'm gonna point you back to that series. Please take a look below in the description box and uh, I will link to the playlist and I'll try to link to some individual videos as well that I think could be helpful for you. Since customs tend to have a little bit of a turnaround time, we wanted to get this announcement out to you guys so that you have time to order a custom and get it in before the event starts, if you so choose. Like I said though, you're more than welcome to work on a piece that you already have going. We're not requiring a new start. Now, as far as the artwork itself goes, the art the artist can be from anywhere. There aren't any restrictions besides it being a part of the public domain, so from before the year 1927. Most of these pieces, you can find their creation or publication date when you search for them. Again, last year, Jessica, I think, covered really well how to find and choose artwork to work on as a custom. And I'm gonna point you back to that because it's a really helpful and in-depth resource if that's some, something you're looking for more info on. You're more than welcome to purchase your custom from any seller. We will definitely encourage you though to purchase from a reputable seller. Like I mentioned, Jessica and I are both really, um, we feel really strongly about supporting companies that are doing right by artists. And we feel that at this point, there are a number of companies out there that offer customs that otherwise, if they offer other diamond paintings in their shop that aren't necessarily customs, they are still licensing that artwork. And so you can feel good about purchasing from a shop um, that is doing right by artists in the rest of their shop, not just in the fact that you can order a custom. Just a suggestion though, certainly not a requirement. <laughs> Um, we will have a sign up available when the event starts. At the moment, we don't have a really strict schedule or plan as far as content goes, because this is the part where we would love to hear some feedback from you. We're really open to your thoughts and your suggestions. If there is particular uh, content or topics that you'd love for us to touch on and dig into in this year's Summer with the Masters, now is the time to share. You're more than welcome to leave a comment on this video. You can send either of us a private message or an email, um, private message on Instagram, or our emails are always both in our description boxes. Um, yeah, just let us know. We're always, always open to feedback, and we want to share about things that you want to hear about, especially if there's areas that you're like, you know, I'm really interested in finding out more about artwork from, you know, this period or this artist, or there's this aspect of diamond painting or ordering a custom I'm not sure on. Could you talk more on that? We're completely open to it. So <laughs> thank you in advance if you have any thoughts that you'd like to share with us on that. But you know, I'd really love to touch on now just some options for if you're like me, like I said, and you're a little overwhelmed by the prospect of ordering a custom, and maybe you just want to browse what some different shops have to offer out there as far as getting just a prepackaged diamond painting kit that you just, you go, you pick it out, you order the kit, or you go to a craft store and buy the kit in person. Um, there are lots and lots of options out there right now. I'm thrilled that now I get to share with so many more stores and shops that offer this kind of artwork than we did last year. So yay! Uh, to start off with, possibly the one that 
is most commonly known and heard of and has probably been around the longest as far as offering this kind of artwork is Diamond Dots. Um, Diamond Dots, I have a couple of kits here. I'm hoping to work on Woman in Gold at some point. I feel like this is almost like a rite of passage. It's kind of a classic diamond painting piece, especially this one from Diamond Dots that has a, just oodles and oodles of special diamonds. Um, Diamond Dots has expanded their offering quite offerings quite a lot as well. I was just looking on their website the other day and they have a number of new options from last year. Diamond Dots is also a nice option because you do have the, the option of going into a store and picking up any number of these kits. Uh, this kit that I have over here is London Parliament in Winter from Monet. And I picked this one up at, I think, Joanne's last summer. I didn't get the chance to work on it, but it is in my collection. So um, you can also, Diamond Dot started selling directly through their website. I want to say last summer that they weren't doing that. It was through kind of like third parties. So feel free to go and check them out as well. Um, Jaded Gem Shop is a new shop that opened and uh, she offers uh, services for ordering drills for if you are working on like a cross stitch conversion but she just launched a line of diamond paintings and included a number of old masters kits they're very large but they are stunning and I already am trying to decide which one I want to order for this summer <laughs> so that's another shop to check out another new shop that I actually unboxed on my channel I think a few weeks back is diamond painting shop uh, shop spelled S-H-O-P-P-E. They have an old master section where they have hand charted beautifully these old masters kits. I unboxed um, the kit Summer from Alphonse Mucha. He's one of my favorite artists and one that I knew that I wanted to work on for this summer with the masters. So a huge thank you to Diamond Painting Shop. They actually sent that kit over for me to review and uh, she, the owner over there, is looking forward to, she's really excited about Summer with the Masters this year and I think may even have some new kits coming soon. So I'll link to her below. Please go and check her out as well. Diamond Art Club has also been releasing some more Old Masters kits lately. Just this week, they released another piece from Klimt, actually, The Kiss, and they released, um, there was, I think, a new Van Gogh on Black Friday, and of course, they have a few other pieces as well, so you know you're going to be getting fantastic quality if you go with Diamond Art Club, so check out what they have to offer and see if, I bet they're going to have some more coming soon. Crafties is a good option for if you're looking for a little bit smaller size diamond painting kit if you don't necessarily want to go with a huge option. They have a limited number of kits, I believe that are Van Gogh uh, images that would work for Summer with the Masters. Now there is an affiliate relationship that Jessica and or I have with Craft Ease, and so I will leave that info below um, if you're interested in saving on your purchase from crafties but there's of course no obligation i just whenever i mention crafties i also have to mention that i am an affiliate for them um some other companies i of course want to mention so uniquely yours down under i ordered a custom from them last year like i mentioned they also have an, a whole old masters section as well that has quite a wide variety of artists definitely go and check them out craftably i believe has a couple of Old Masters kits as well. I think they have Starry Night and maybe some special drill kit options. Craftably has fantastic customer service and has really high quality kits. And then what I have here, this is one that I actually ordered last summer but didn't get the chance to work on. It's one that I want to mention because it kind of is in that in between like a custom and a pre-packaged kit. So this is a piece from Crown Jewel Canvases, which is kind of a um, subset of Haid Heaven and Earth Designs. They're known for having their cross stitch charts, but, charts, but they also la launched a line of diamond painting canvases. Now the important thing to remember and note about this is that their crown jewel canvases, you don't get the drills with them. You'd have to source your drills or your diamonds separately. I touched on this a bit um, last year, I believe. Uh, but there are a couple of different places you can order diamonds, whether you're located in the United States or international. Um, and so I do have the diamonds for this one and I'm hoping to work on it sometime um, during the summer's event, but they have a really nice variety of old masters canvases under their crown jewel section. And if you're feeling very brave, you could do a cross stitch conversion to a diamond painting on a blank canvas. 
I'm doing one of those projects actually right now it's not on an old masters canvas but if you're curious to see what that process looks like I'll link to that playlist but that would of course require you to convert a cross stitch chart and have a blank canvas and source the diamonds that may be the sort of undertaking that you are totally all about doing but if you're newer to diamond painting that might not be the route that I would necessarily suggest going but the options there are certainly endless <laughs> so um the other shop that i wanted to mention though that i just was looking at my list and realized i forgot is distracted by diamonds um distracted by diamonds is also uh, partnered with patty wax it's the same shop on etsy um, right now they have soul of the rose in stock they tend to rotate through stock so i'm not sure what all they will have by the time summer rolls around they had a really beautiful piece with swans last year um but they have excellent quality kits as well I will be sure to link to all the shops that I've mentioned down below in the description. I highly encourage you to go and browse, see if any of these jump out at you. Like I said, if you don't necessarily want to tackle um, the process of ordering a custom, there are tons and tons of options available to you. Um, for pre-packaged kits like these. Now, the list of shops I mentioned is by no means exhaustive, and I do apologize if I left your shop out. It wasn't intentional, I was just trying to pull together a list as quickly and remember everything that I could. Um, but if you do own a shop that carries licensed artwork and then old masters, feel free to send me a message and I'll add it to the description box so that people can go and visit your shop as well. All right, my friends, I am so excited that Summer with the Masters 2022 is happening. We don't have details as far as what the requirements are going to be, but I we've already been chatting with some potential sponsors and partnerships for the event, so I'm sure there are going to be some fabulous prizes. Uh, we will share all the details with you as we get closer to the event start date as far as how to enter for different prizes, how to participate, if there's going to be a hashtag. We will share all of that info with you once, well, frankly, once we nail it down and as we get closer to the event actually starting. But you guys, last year was an absolutely incredible first summer with the masters so much so that as soon as the event ended everyone was asking and Jessica and I are looking at each other and asking like are we doing this again next summer because this was fantastic and we cannot wait cannot wait to see what you all are going to work on this summer it's going to be amazing and we can't wait to show lots of love to this whole area of artwork that like I said I feel like tends to get overlooked and not get nearly enough love when it comes to diamond paintings. All right, my friends, let me know if you have any questions. Please go check out Jessica's announcement video. And if you're not already subscri subscribed to her channel, she's Tiny Worlds of Wonder. She makes some of the best time in painting content out there. She's been one of my favorite content creators since I joined the diamond painting community. You absolutely should be following along with the amazing things she's doing over on her channel. All right, my friends, I am looking forward to this summer with you. Let me know if you have any questions, like I said, and we will chat with you again soon. All right, friends, talk to you in the next one.